Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on the quest indicator component. Maybe you want your quest giver to have a indicator above their head and a question mark when they're complete. So that's what this tutorial is all about. We're going to go ahead and bring out an asset that will be our quest giver. So we just grabbed an apple girl from the library. And we'll go ahead and remove all the default behaviors and components. And we'll go ahead and add our indicator component. And we'll go and edit the logic. This is where you can add the features above the head so you know it is a quest giver. When you click add, you can see there's nothing in the drop down list. We have to create a quest first. So click the rules button at the top and switch on to quest and add quest. We'll name the first one uh, just quest one for this example. And we'll put the description collect a key. Now we'll have the quest uh, auto unlock, but we'll have the quest launch require a message. And we can make that anything, we'll say uh, start q dot one. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and close this, deselect your asset, select it again, and click edit logic. Now in the giver, you should see quest one in the options. Now if we press tab, you can see the marker is above the head to say, oi, we've got a quest, come and speak with me. But when you press E, nothing happens. Perfect. Go back to the rules and we're going to create a quest. It will be a counter to collect some objects. We'll make it a key and we'll just collect one. Perfect. We don't want it to auto complete. We want it to require a message and we can do end q dot oops q dot one perfect so we need start q1 to start the mess uh the quest and end q1 to end the quest so we'll go back to our quest giver edit logic for receiver we'll add quest one so it, it will start the quest and also this is where we'll end the quest if you wanted to collect the item and speak to somebody else you give that somebody else the receiver instead. Fantastic. Now let's put down our key and we'll go ahead and just remove the default behaviors and give it a collectible component and we'll give it a tag key. We'll go ahead and uh, if you recall, we need a message to start it. So we will give a speaker component uh, we won't have any text, it will be an interact, and when it does, we can say um, talk.one, and it will send a message talk.one. We'll go ahead, put down another asset, and we can give it a message broadcaster, edit logic, wait before broadcast, and we'll say talk.one. Edit logic just to check. That's talk.1, sorry. Make sure the message is correct, otherwise it won't work. Talk.1. And when it receives that message, it will send start q1. Excellent. Let's test that out. So we've got our quest giver. We can press E. It starts the quest. And the quest is to collect the key. We click the key and you can see the question mark is above their head. Now if we press E, nothing happens because we haven't sent the message to end the quest. So the message we need to end the quest is end Q1. Now we'll go ahead and duplicate our message broadcaster and we'll change this message here to end Q1. And we'll go ahead and select our uh, key, edit logic, the collect message here we can be uh, toggle dot one, so when we collect the key it will send that message out. So for this first broadcast we'll go ahead and put a toggle behavior and we'll keep it on, on true, make this off or none and we'll turn this off when we collect the key. 
So we made the key toggle dot one. So we'll go ahead and put that in. So when we click the key, it will turn off this message broadcaster, so it won't send a message start Q1. We also use the same message here for this message broadcaster to end the quest. So what we do here is we add a toggle behavior. We'll make this one off. We don't want that message to start straight away. We want it to send when we click the key. So we'll put toggle dot one here. And now if we test that out, We've collected the quest. We'll collect the key. It will finish the quest. And when we talk up, talk to the girl, you can see the quest has ended. Now, maybe you want them to say a message in between. So what we can do here is take a asset and put it above its head and remove invisibility so you can't see it and we can put a speaker component on the message is please find my key and the message we need for that one is start q1 fantastic we can go ahead and duplicate Put it above the head as well and we can change it to thanks for oops thanks for finding my key and we can have end q1 as the message needed for that so now when we talk to it please find my key now you can see the apple bill and the arrows in a way so what we can do here is edit the logic, we'll get rid of the display name, and we also get rid of the arrow. Now for these message broadcasters, we want to get rid of, oh sorry, these speakers, we want to get rid of the name of the asset, so we don't see the name, or you can give it the name of the character instead. Okay. Please find my key. And we can collect the key and now we go talk to her thanks for finding my key quest is done uh, because the message here is end q1 you can make that do anything so we sent the message to talk you can also add another quest which auto uh, which requires a message end q1 and that will start uh, quest 2 find another key so now when we talk to her grab the key and we hand it in it automatically begins quest 2 you can send that message anywhere um, you can even have a quest, a quest reward so we'll bring out a another one and we will make that a asset spawner uh, edit the logic the message required can be end Q1. And then we can bring out some armor or a sword. You can change where, or it comes out where that blue box is. So you can move this around, make sure you can get rid of the collisions and the invisibility. Um, and now that sword will come out when the quest completes. Ah. We can also make it collectible. So we can collect the sword, put that on there, and we'll raise it just a bit so it's not completely on the ground. Ah, you can still see it because with asset spawners, you actually got to toggle it off here. So we'll go ahead and get the quest, collect the key. Hand it in, and as our sword. We collected the sword, we can press uh, I for inventory, and then we can equip sword by double clicking it. Um, did I do that? Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> I just had to attack, but there's the sword. Uh, but there are your basics for the indicator. 
and again here we got objective so we can go ahead and do quest one and you can see it's put a marker above her head now she's not the one that we need for the quest so it's there to say look at me you need to find me for the quest so we'll get rid of that and on our key we'll go ahead and add a again a indicator component and for the objective get rid of the name edit the logic get rid of the arrow uh, and then objective we can say quest one so you can see the key when we start the quest it puts a cursor over it to let you know it's a quest item so you can put that on enemies that the player needs to kill for instance when you collect it it disappears and we'll hand it in thanks for finding the key collect your sword i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something if you have any questions or need to know about anything in particular message me on discord have a great day